So if you have had a lot of people tell you these things, make sure you share this video with them and let's prove them wrong. So films are forms of art that encapsulate culture. That means they reflect a certain era or a certain period during which a specific film has been produced. They also reflect the community during that period of time, how they interact and how they behave. And having said that, you know, K-drama as a film category could actually be a good learning material if you're aiming to get a better look into Korea's culture which, by the way, plays a huge role in how Koreans interact. For instance, how Koreans use the honorifics, how they greet strangers, how they treat their supervisors, and how they treat someone who is younger than they are, and a lot more. And that is what we call the vertical hierarchical culture. So we briefly talked about this in our other video, which I will be linking on your screen. But basically, we talked about how this cultural aspect of Korea affects how Koreans interact. That means they first consider where they stand in the hierarchy, whether they are lower or higher, and then decide on the words or decide on the sentence structures they will use towards a specific audience or towards a specific listener. So this whole concept of vertical hierarchical culture may be considered as something that is culturally unique to Korea and some of its neighboring countries. So we understand that this may also come as a foreign concept to some of you. So I have decided to take a couple of scenes from the K-drama Vincenzo or Vincenzo to capture this very, 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 very important aspect of the Korean culture, most especially if you're trying to learn the Korean language. So an interesting point here is that age is usually the default basis of this hierarchy. That means if you are older, then you are higher in the hierarchy. If you are younger, then you are lower in the hierarchy. So let's take a look at one of my favorite scenes from the drama. 악인의 침묵은 죄악의 창고죠. 아, 너 진짜 입이 다물어 이 마피아 새끼야. 아이씨. 욕하지 마 이봐. 어린 놈의 자식이. 너몇 살이야? 나 구상년 박지다. 너몇 살인데 나이를 물어봐. 뛰 앉아. 어디 감히 뱀띠한테. 나도 뱀띠. 아이씨. So year of the snake. That means she was born in 1989, which makes her four years older than Jang Hanso. So let's see how he takes that. See that? See how he backed down based on the ground that she was older than him and thus quote unquote higher. Okay, so first of all, what she said wasn't simply older. What she actually said was we saram. Okay, we means up or top and sara means person so basically the person who is on top person who is higher so notice how she demanded him you know vincenzo to speak up or to talk on the basis that she was a we saram or person who is higher than him based on age so when people say age is just a number that's not actually true in korea because age that specific number is actually a huge deal in Korea. So however, although age is usually the basis of the hierarchy, there are also other social factors at play. For instance, you have social position and social title. All right, let's take a look at another scene. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so here the chairman was using panmal. So panmal is an impolite and casual sentence structure, which was, by the way, justified in that case because as a chairman he is up here. But. Okay, let's pause here for a while now. So Zhang Anzak mentioned first encounters. Okay, so another thing that you have to take note of is that intimacy is another factor that we consider or factor in when you are interacting with someone. Okay, so if you have known this person for quite a while now, let's say 10 years or 20 years, and you have this tight relationship and you've been pretty close, then you think Panmal would have been okay regardless of your age because you know you're tight and you've known each other for quite a while so that would be okay well it also depends on your agreement with each other but you know first encounters if you're meeting the person for the first time it's always ideal to use the highest form of politeness the highest form of formality so backing that up with this scene Okay, so although the translation was how dare you talk back, what he actually said was who are you to talk pan mal to me? So that got to him, that pissed him off, given that they have not been well acquainted in the past. So that's also something you have to be very careful of. So let's go back to the previous scene. Okay, so on the latter part, we heard Zhang Han Sok say he is younger than me. So see there, see how age plays a huge role in the Korean language? So the higher the person is in the hierarchy, the more polite your sentence structure should be. Okay, so to give you an example, instead of saying ka, you say kaseyo. Kaseyo. Instead of saying oso wa, you say oso seyo. Oso seyo. So here, the woman in the car, Taemyong Hee, is considered their boss. And that is a social title that is considered higher than everybody else's in the workplace. So regardless of age, what we're looking at here is the seniority. So she's a senior, so she is considered higher than everybody else, hence the ninth degree bow. So also, did you know that there are actually different types of bow and the lower your bow is, the more respect you're ascribing to that person. Okay, so now let's look at the relationship of Zhang An so and Zhang An Sok, the brothers. Okay, so if you have seen this K-drama, you know that their relationship is not typical of siblings. So usually siblings don't really have to be this polite with each other, they don't really have to be formal. So yeah, just keep in mind that their relationship is not very conventional. Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay, so see how he stood up when his older brother, Jang Han Sok, pours him a drink. So that's a gesture of politeness. <laughs> And then how he waited for him to be seated before he sits down. So that's another one. So what other etiquette is expected of you when interacting with someone who is quote unquote higher than you? So you are at all times expected to use 
both of your hands. So see how Dang Han So drinks with both of his hands and also while facing the other way? That's one. And then when he served Oding, he made sure he was using both of his hands with the other hand gesturing to the food he was serving. That's another one. And then when he poured Vincenzo a drink, his hand was here. Could actually be here or here or here. Um, but they're all the same. They're all indicating politeness. Okay, so there you go. So now you know why Koreans are so obsessed with asking someone's age during first encounter. That's because they have to decide on where they stand in the hierarchy and decide on the sentence ending they'll be using when interacting with that person. So, but yeah, so as mentioned earlier, it's not just the age that's the determinant of um, where you stand in the hierarchy. There are also other factors such as social position, social title, seniority, and so on and so forth. But because of all these factors, because there's a lot of factors to consider when interacting with someone, it's not always easy to determine who yields to who, and that could actually lead to awkward moments. So, there you go. We hope that you enjoyed our episode for today. For more Korean contents, please follow us on our social media accounts. Thank you.